That's 17-year-old Colin Banks at the controls of a single-engine Cessna taking off under the supervision of his instructor Put in a little more power. and under the wing of a legendary group of flyers. The Tuskegee Airmen have big shoes and they're hard to fill. Colin would never have gotten this high or this far without the help of the Tuskegee Airmen. Five young Negroes made aviation history at the all-black corps of about 1,000 fighter pilots who fought their way past segregation and shot their way through the Luftwaffe, building their reputation as heroes. Here I am, front and center. Front and center, 30th of June, 1943. Retired Colonel Charles McGee has his memories of the past. There's me in the Italy. But he and the roughly 100 other surviving airmen like Bill Broadwater, worry about the future. Who will take their place? We were there to show and prove that it could be done, and that's mm -hmm. the thing we're, we're protecting as our legacy to mm -hmm. hand down to the younger generation. Mm -hmm. The Air Force reports only 265 of its 13,805 pilots identify themselves as black. That's just 1.9%. They're giving me a chance to fly like they did and to be able to live my passion as, as they did. It's an expensive passion, and while he lacked money, Colin did not lack enthusiasm. When you take off, you kind of feel it pushing you into your seat. You see the house is getting smaller, and then everyone says the same thing. I'm flying. <laughs> what is that experience like when you, if you take someone down? The Tuskegee Airmen spent close to $7,000 for Collins' flying lessons. They've paid for programs across the country, encouraging more than 160 young people to become pilots just like they were. It makes me real proud, believe me. Yeah. It's a long way from a Cessna to a fighter, and Colin is on his way. Soon, he'll go to the U.S. Air Force Academy prep school. And if he's successful, as corny as it sounds, for him, the sky really will be the limit. Richard Schlesinger, CBS News, Fort Washington, Maryland.